No Islam Project. Noislam.com.ng. Aaw bilahi na shaitan rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa taala, Allah the Creator of everything that exists, Allah the most beneficent, Allah the most merciful. It is He who sent the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the seal of all messenger and the best example for mankind to follow with uh, the religion of the truth which is Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, the Christian evangelists, bishops, the Bible from past, the Christian apologists, you know, they continue to tell us that Jesus Christ is God, though there are some denominational differences, you know. There are some Christians who actually do not believe that Jesus is God. And we have many, especially the Trinitarian Christians, those who believe in uh, the concept of Trinity. Many of them have the belief that Jesus Christ himself is God. While in several videos and uh, publications, we have proved that Jesus Christ is not God and would never ever be God. Uh, in this video, I will be giving us a very short verse, you know, that we can use against uh, Christian apologists or the evangelists who come every time, you know, asking you to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and the personal Savior. In the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse uh, 30, uh, the Bible records a woman with an incredible bleeding. So she taught Jesus, and the Bible says she was, you know, made healed. Uh, and then the Bible says Jesus Christ asked a question, a very interesting question. He asked, Who touched my clothes? Who touched my garment? Mark chapter 5, verse 30. Who touched my garment? Uh, now, that is God. God who came down to earth in the human flesh, and when he got here, he went and died, you know, he hurt, he slept, and then he even asked, Who touched my garment? There are so many evidences, so many verses, hundreds of them in the Christian Bible that we can use to prove that Jesus Christ is not God. But for the purpose of this video, I will be using that verse. The book of Mark chapter 5 verse 30. When I came across that verse, it got me really thinking. It got me really thinking that if someone were to be God, and of course God would do miracles and uh, this, despite the fact that he came in human flesh, where well, he could do the miracles too that God would do, you know. And then so he was asking, who touched my garment? Why would a girl ask that who touched his garment? The same thing had been actually, you know, uh, uh, recorded in the book of Genesis anyway, where uh, God was said to be walking in the garden in the cool, you know, of the day, uh, sort of in the evening, and then he was asking Adam, Adam, where are you? And then that's a very good question in Mark 5.30, who touched my garment? Is Jesus Christ God? Just if we were to jump that verse, you know, we have verses where Jesus Christ was said to have cried to God, my God, my God, why are you forsaking me? In the book of Mark 15, verse 34, as well as the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 46. There are so many verses like that. Jesus Christ has said, well, he is not superior over his father. The father is greater than he is. So many verses like that. But this is a very good question that we should ask Christians. Was Jesus Christ God? Why did he ask who touched my garments? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.